In this video, we will look at using the quadratic formula, where we may have to do some work to set it up. Before using the quadratic formula, it is very important that the equation must equal 0. So let's take a look at some examples where it doesn't equal 0 to begin with. When we're solving, we like the x squared to be positive, so let's move everything in this equation to the right side to make it equal 0. We can do this by adding 7x and subtracting 15. When we do, because there's no like terms, we get 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 equals 0. Now we're ready to use the quadratic formula, where a is 2, b is 7, and c is negative 15. Plugging our values into the quadratic formula, x is equal to the opposite of b, or negative 7, plus or minus the square root of b, or 7 squared, minus 4a, or 2, times c, which is negative 15, all over 2a, which is 2. We can now simplify by doing the multiplication in the exponents to get x equals negative 7, plus or minus the square root of 49, plus, because we have a negative times a negative, 4 times 2 times negative 15 is 120, all over 2 times 2, which is 4. Adding inside the radical, we find out x is equal to negative 7, plus or minus the square root of 169 over 4. Square root of 169 is 13, so we have negative 7, plus or minus 13, over 4. We can find our two solutions by splitting into the two equations, where we add and subtract. Negative 7 plus 13 is 6, over 4, and negative 7 minus 13 is negative 20, over 4. These will reduce to our final answers, 3 halves and negative 5. Let's take a look at one more example, where we have to make the equation equal to 0 first, before we can solve using the quadratic formula. In this problem, it equals 7. We need to move the 7 over by subtracting 7 from both sides, lining up like terms to get 3x squared, plus 5x, minus 5, equals 0. We can now look at this and identify what a, b, and c are, in order to plug them into the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula says x is equal to the opposite of b, or negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, 5 squared, minus 4a, which is 3, c, which is negative 5, all over 2a, which is 3. Start simplifying by doing the multiplication in the exponents to get x equals negative 5, plus or minus the square root of 25, plus 60, all over 6. Adding inside the radical tells us that x is equal to negative 5, plus or minus the square root of 85, all over 6. In this case, we would want to check to see if we can simplify that radical. However, finding the prime factorization of 85 by dividing by 5, we find out is 17, and 17, and 1. We can't simplify 5 times 17, and so this radical and expression is completely simplified. Our final solution is x equals negative 5, plus or minus the square root of 85, over 6. By making the equation equal to 0, and plugging in our numbers for a, b, and c into the quadratic formula, we can quickly arrive at our solution.